Okay, we're now in the art section of the museum. Look at this. Look at all this great art. Mm. So this is all there is to it. Look at all of this. All these art. Look at all these clay pots that were created back in the 19th century. Look at all these things. We're here. And all the clay and all the uh, framework. My dad has so many paintings of this. Not like that. Look at all these clay pots and bits that they were made. These are so ancient. So Black Thursday is the best. Yeah. I picked this day because they threw Black Thursday. Let me get to see the story. We got all this European pictures. European technology is located here. This is what they would use back back in the day. The 17th and 18th centuries European European tools were more primitive than ours, but more complex and specialized than the Indian implements against which they competed. You see all these tools that the Europeans would use back in the 16 and the 1700s. Ooh, this is so nice. Sorry, I was already there. Well, no, I was not, but we we're gonna get there soon. 18th century. This is where this is how people would live. Okay, let's see how nice it is. And the lady in the dress, and that's how women would dress back then in the, in the olden times. Yeah, that was. Let me see what, let me see what this is called. I learned so much of that in. You know, Michael, I learned another thing. You have vegan restaurants, you have whatever restaurants, and like every different kind of person is catered to. I want a dollar restaurant. This is about violent advice. Random violence was a part of lower class urban life. This is New York in, in 1767. This is how it was formed back in that year. 1767. That, that's the year when America declared independence on July 4th. No, 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 that was, no, that was nine years before America declared independence on July 4th. Yeah, yeah this, this country actually declared this. Yeah, they actually declared this uh, independence from two 
you know, this country actually declared independence in 1776. Not, that's not what we are discussing. We are the tools, the cultural continuity, the continuous cultural culture. The Indians and the Europeans, they would use that. They would still use that. You know, like, uh, yeah. these are the baskets. You see? This is how they would carry food. This is what they used to carry food and everything. The Algonquian. After Henry Hudson's voyage in 1609, Europeans met many groups of Indians speaking Algonquian languages. On Lana itself, at least 13 bands or tribes, each occupying several villages. So this is, this is where they left. Montauk. See, Montauk. Mm -hmm. And this is how they would work. And the Indian foods. Clamshell how the wooden we use for digging. And in the food is corn, beans, squash, and tobacco. You know, we play game we play games like that, blah blah blah. And same for all, and you know, I'll read that cool when I get home because I have it on video right now. The Vizina, what you see. The maize is the Indian corn. Okay, I'll read that when I get home too. So this is this is the housing of the Indians back in the, back in you know this area. The European settlement began in Manhattan. Well, Manhattan as European settlement began. Okay, so these are the animals. Okay, and this is, and on all the goodies right here, from, from the American Revolution to the destruction of the United Forest Cover. Mm -hmm. These are the beavers. Mm -hmm. Wild, the wild turkey is right here. The most important fowl of the unknown world. Okay. Oh, now we go forward. Got all of these plants. Yeah. Got all of those. See? These are the plants. Yeah. What are we playing? Yeah. It's called the Ruby Slater Hummingbird. Oh well. This is a rattlesnake. And. No. The cityscape. We're gonna take a brief. We're gonna take the last minute. We're gonna take the last minute here. Again. Oh, this is the ghetto. I don't know if these, these people were not. These people were not doing it. From country, which is here, from to ghetto, which is mm, not so good. And from the field, which is there, to urban. Yeah, the urban is the city. Like downtown Albany, where we're at, where we're at right now. And this is these are all the goodies, and and over here we're going to take a look at this for in the last thirty seconds. This is the library of open space in the New York City area. As you may see, natural history resources in the metropolitan area, and we're gonna look. This is the plants. The, the shelves underneath, underneath the plant. And all this debris. And these are the birds in the skyscrapers. You want to see? 
These are the breaks and signings, so we're gonna stop here and then take more pictures.